Please note that I was provided this unit free of charge in order to produce an honest and unbiased review. The Castle Android Smart TV box is targeted for people on a budget that are looking for that true price to performance ratio sweet spot. The M8S has the ability to output 4K video at 30Hz. Unfortunately, I was not able to get a hold of a 4K TV for this review, and I'm un unable to speak on this feature. However, from personal experience, I generally prefer to have at least 60Hz. On the bright side, this does do 1080p and lower resolutions at 60Hz just fine. As I was using this, I found that one TV I tried this with, the screen would blink black for a second when I pressed a button on the remote, something I found extremely irritating, but it worked fine on my friend's TV. So this may just be a problem with my TV. I noticed that the settings on the HDMI auto detect feature detected the TV at only 720p despite the fact that it outputs a 1080p resolution. I'd recommend making sure this is set properly to get the best image quality possible. The operating system is Android 4.4 KitKat, which is actually a full version of Android with the launcher. When you first get through the somewhat tedious setup process, you'll want to select the media box launcher, otherwise you'll be trying to use a user interface programmed for touchscreen with a remote, something I found quite difficult. If you do choose to do this, then I would use the mouse button on the remote, which gives you a virtual cursor, despite how tedious it may be to click something with it. Even worse than that is typing. When you have to log in with your Google account, something I highly recommend you do, or enter the password to your Wi-Fi, it can take a full 30 seconds to enter an 8-digit passcode. However, the multitude of stiff buttons on this remote is not even my biggest complaint with it. I cannot stand the play pause button. Oh wait, there is none. I'm not quite sure how Castle wants you to use this TV with services like Netflix and YouTube without the inclusion of a play pause button. I might be missing something, but the only way I could do it was to close out of the app or use the virtual mouse. This is honestly a deal breaker for me. I couldn't stand taking a solid 10 seconds to pause my movie every time I wanted a snack. However, maybe this isn't a problem for you. Maybe you're getting this for the functionality of Android on your TV. If you want this for light gaming, then I think you'll be satisfied, especially considering the price. I did some light gaming and found that the 2GB of RAM was plenty to run that. I guess ultimately it comes down to what you want to use this for. If you're planning on using this to make your normal TV a smart TV, I would look elsewhere. It's worth the extra weight to have a pleasant user interface. I give this 4 stars because I found this unpleasant to work with. I understand they're producing a 4K Android smart TV box under $50, but I can't imagine adding a play pause button would have made this drastically more expensive to produce. Had the remote been a little more pleasant to work with, I would have had no problem giving this a full 5 stars. If you're on an extreme budget trying to get 4K 30Hz and don't mind the extra hassle this provides, then I think this would be perfect for you.